your bi-weekly love reading from June 16th through the 30th, 2018. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am the good, the bad, and the tarot here to give you your bi-weekly love messages and energies. For your reading today, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot Deck by Gabby Ingus West as my primary tarot deck. I will be clarifying core cards and any card that poses a conundrum with the Vera Sibilla Italiana, my little Italian oracle cards. And then at the end of your reading, I'll be pulling a guidance slash outcome message from the Thoth Tarot deck. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. And this reading is for all Libra suns, moons, risings, Libras on the cusp, and also if you have your Venus in Libra. Spirit, what are the bi-weekly love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Libra? From June 16th through the 30th, 2018, this is their bi-weekly love reading. What are the most important messages and energies that you have for my Libras regarding their love lives from June 16th through the 30th? What do they need to know, Spirit? We have the Emperor. Some of you dealing with an Aries or a Leo. The Emperor can also represent the man who rules your life, the father figure, someone who is very much likes to be in control, likes to wear the pants, likes to have, you know, this the final word, the final say. He is the king, he is the uh, king of all the kings in the tarot. So this is someone who is a very good business person, but um, I would have to say that the emperor is also someone that um, uses logic and reason, not emotions, to make decisions. So you may be dealing with someone like this, Libra. They're coming up in your. Uh, they're coming up in your reading already. So let's see if that card comes out. All right, a couple more shuffles here. What does Libra need to know regarding their bi-weekly love reading? What are the most important messages and energies for all my Libras watching? One more shuffle here for Libra. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to look at your current situation. What is helping or hindering you, Libra? What has put you here? What you may be thinking or feeling, thinking and feeling over the next two weeks. This is also what you'd like to manifest, your recent past, your near future. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Sign of Aquarius. This can indicate that there's some deception or someone doing something sneaky around you. This could also be your energy. It is the underlying theme or challenge of the reading. Um, someone may have gotten away with something here as well. Lying, cheating, stealing. Um, taking something that's not theirs or doing something um, like leaving a situation behind but doing it in a very stealthy manner. Um, sneaking away or just being sneaky in general. Temperance in reverse. Your challenge is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Whoops. What has put you here? We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Your thoughts and feelings are the Empress. Your recent past is the Five of Coin. And in the near future, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, what do we have here? You do walk into the middle of June with the Temperance card in reverse. So this is the energy of maybe a Sagittarius. Some of you may have Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising that are watching. And let's see, what do we have going on here? I'm seeing... Uh, someone pouring out their drink, first of all. So maybe some of you are, I'm seeing someone here who could be pregnant and they can't drink alcohol anymore. So they accidentally got served an alcoholic beverage and now they're pouring it out because they can't drink it. But it's also here saying that someone here lacks patience. Someone here needs to be patient or needs to tone down their, um, um, 
it's not that the attitude's out of control, it's just that a lot of stuff's getting on your nerves right now, and it could be difficult for you to kind of stay on an even keel. So maybe it could be a hormonal thing, but also someone here may also have some anger management issues. They may just be very impatient all the time. Um, the question is why so impatient? Why are there issues with staying in control and you know having balance? Because with temperance upright, it is about balance and moderation and healing. Someone here lacks healing. Someone here lacks balance. Okay, and um, nothing is done in moderation. Everything is done to excess, including, you know, the mood swings, etc. So your challenge is the Nine of Swords. That is coming up reversed. It could be that you're under a lot of stress right now. You have a lot of things to do. You have a lot of pressure on you. Some of you are having trouble sleeping, and this could also be due to a pregnancy. Um, or you have like so much stress from work, so much stress coming on from the outside world and a lot of you are just having, I think you're coming out of it, I think it's coming to an end, but it's kind of been a nightmare for you and you're just ready to be done with it. This could be due to a separation with the Ten of Cups in reverse here, maybe you're separated from a family, some of you have been going through a lot of marital issues as of late. Um, it could also be um, you realize that there, the emotional security in a relationship is gone or you had this idea where everything was going to be happily ever after and it didn't turn out that way and it's just been excruciating, excruciating. Um, you've been very, very um, impatient and wanting to um, be done with the stress, but I feel like the stress is coming from the emotional, something emotional here, like you're separated from someone. Okay, we can go in and clarify that. In the past, we have the five of coins, so someone here is out in the cold. I'm also getting, I could be talking to someone that's been dealing with a lot of financial issues that's been causing stress, separated from your family, separated from your home, your loved ones. You feel like you've been left out. You feel like you've been put out on the doorstep here. Um, it's been a really difficult situation, and you've you've tried to be patient. You have, but it's just so stressful. I can tell. Whoever I'm talking to has just been very stressed out. Um, and your thoughts and feelings, you have the Empress. So this is the mother. You may be thinking about your mother, or you may be thinking about... Um, some of you may be pregnant. Um pregnant with your second child I just heard or you are thinking about becoming pregnant I also feel like some of you are this is what you want to manifest you want to ma manifest more abundance you want to feel like you have all of your needs taken care of you don't want to have to worry ever again I'm also seeing this as lava so uh, you know some of you that I'm speaking to are this could be a situation that is taking place near a volcano because we have we have had several volcanoes erupting um, almost overlapping there was just one in Guatemala and um, one in Hawaii and I'm sure there are others but the Empress is also the um, Venus so she rules your sign as well as Taurus but you, you know, you're feeling also, I think, nurturing and protective of your children, of the ones that you love. You do want to take care of everyone. You feel this way. Okay, in terms of the near future, you have the Four of Wands in reverse. I'm seeing someone here that may have left the home or is leaving the home. For more freedom it could also indicate disruptions around the home and um, once again if you're in a disaster prone area that could be part of the reason but I'm also seeing unfortunately as someone who has a broken home or they're dealing with a broken home situation um, this can also be a private celebration for some of you 
um, if you had to go, if you if you went into labor and you had your child, um, maybe you, you didn't have a place to come back to, or your your um, your significant other, you've been separated, but you still are, you know, celebrating the birth of a child, or still celebrating that with your closest family, but still there could be some issues around the home environment here. Could be a celebration that does not quite go as planned. <clears throat> I'm sensing some of you are really wanting stability. You're really wanting a place where you can call home, where you can be a mother, where you can take care and raise your children. And a lot of stuff has been kind of preventing that from happening. Um, they do want you, it does look like you do need to do some healing though. There is a lack of healing that has happened in the past and the stress is definitely not helping. I can see that. I feel like you could be dealing with a situation where someone has literally taken something from you and you're very stressed out about getting it back. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify. I want to know why. The Ten of Cups is coming up in reverse for Libra. Why is the Ten of Cups coming up reverse for Libra? We have the male lover here, or just lover. This is someone who does have requited love or affection for you, Libra. But it seems that you have been separated from them, or... You have an unhappy home environment with this person. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups coming up reversed for Libra? What is this Ten of Cups? We have the... Someone here is, has a, I'm seeing someone that's very irritable, but also trying to be very tactful about how to go about things. I also see someone here, maybe a male lover that enjoys his freedom a little bit too much. It's causing issues for the family. Um, and also this can be someone who, yeah, uh, I'm getting someone here who can be a bit frivolous with who they choose to partner with or who, who they choose to be with. The butterfly lands on from flower to flower, so to me it kind of represents someone who's very laissez-faire about their sexuality. They don't really, um, they may come and go as they please, let's just put it that way. Why is the Ten of Cups coming up reversed for Libra? We have the, and it could also be someone who's a bit transient, so they don't really have a a steady, I'm getting someone that doesn't have a firm foundation. We have the luck card, so there is going to be a positive, unexpected event taking place. They won't tell me what it is, but it is a turn of fate. Um, I'm seeing that for better or for worse, um, um, possibly if you are being separated from someone that you love, it's probably for the best because it looks like either they don't have a a steady foundation, a home, or you don't have a home, a place that you can call home. Um, let's see. I want to know what is causing the stress here. Why is the Nine of Swords coming up reversed for Libra? We have the loyalty. Someone here is faithful, wants to be loyal, is very devoted, but I also feel like they're going through a lot of stress. This can be a, this can be your friend, your partner, your potential partner, or even you. Probably you because you're coming up with the swords here. It could also be that you're stressed about someone who's been a faithful friend to you or been devoted to you. I'm also seeing a present coming in now you have to ask yourself could this could this present be for selfish reasons or is it a really truly an unselfish gift um, to give yourself to give your time and energy unselfishly that's one thing but 
to ask for something with strings attached or to provide a gift and expect, you know, there to be reciprocation is not truly really a gift, right? So, but I do see someone here who's loyal and devoted and, um, perhaps this, uh, person is giving of themselves unselfishly or wants to give a gift or is receiving a gift. We have the female lover. So we have the male lover and the female lover. The female lover seems to be loyal. She's could be receiving a gift or be giving a, given a gift. And this is a shy woman who hides her feelings. But this is also someone who's very stressed out. And has a lot of anxiety, a lot of issues with, I would say, general anxiety, paranoia, trouble sleeping, insomnia, etc. Okay, and the male lover here could be separated from the family or going through a separation. This person enjoys their freedom. And they do have uh, the Fortuna card, so they do have luck on their side. Let's see, why is the Four of Wands coming up in reverse? No. Why is the Four of Wands coming up in reverse? We have the Lord, the man of high society, someone that is very well to do, very well off. Why is the Four of Wands coming up in reverse for the Brown? We have the male enemy the maid and the child. So there's there may be a child involved or um, it seems that um, I am seeing two men here, someone that is a uh, very well to do, very well off, could be like the head of the household, etc. Because he's coming up as the king of hearts. Now we also have someone here who's a bit of a snake. He's holding a snake. And this is someone who is envious. He could be a male rival. This could be someone that's trying to break your home apart. Like a, a home wrecker type of situation. And then we have the maid. So this is someone who's here. who's just doing housework, helping. She's running errands, etc. And we have the child. So there could also be a, a younger child involved in this situation but um the thing that worries me is that there is someone here who is an enemy and it seems that your your home environment your, st your stability is coming into question there could be some disruptions around your home etc towards the end of the month and um could be someone here I'm not seeing that any someone's cheating per se. I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing someone has like concealed hate for someone that's maybe better off than they are. If you have a maid or you have someone that helps out with housework and does errands, etc., or this is you, you may have a relationship with the um Someone has a relationship with the person that's been kind of sneaking around here. And I'm also seeing that there's a child involved, or a very young child, or this can also be a new beginning, but I'm seeing that more as a child. Okay, so, a lot of stuff going on for you, Libra. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, the Magician, and the Ace of Wands. I see that there's going to be a new beginning in terms of how you feel about someone, a passionate new beginning. You may want to make things happen with someone from your past. Um, there, You have to be careful though because the Seven of Swords indicates that likely um, there is some deception involved if you choose to go that route. Um, so do be careful. Do be careful. But I, I, feel, I feel like the struggle is real for you right now. Some of you are going through a separation. You have a lot of stress in your life. 
you do have feelings for someone but she just can't come out about them for some reason maybe because you're faithful or maybe because you're married um, there is a male enemy in your midst, and be careful that they don't disrupt what you have in terms of your stability in terms of your home especially if you have a child it seems like someone here is going about their business unaware of the fact that this person exists in their life so yeah just be wary just be careful who you keep around is friends who you um, associate with etc Could be that some of you I would also say that it's possible that some of you are living with someone let's just say um, I'm seeing it's possible that someone has um, is having an affair with the help around the house and this could be with uh, regards to someone that looks after your children. And that's causing some problems for you. Um, this could be someone that outwardly, like they appear to be um, very proper and they have a high place in society, they have a good job title, etc. But they're doing something that's very sneaky that they shouldn't be doing. And it's, um, it's breaking your home and your family apart. Okay, and maybe you're the um, mother to this child, or you, your job is to look after the family. Okay, let's see. What's going on for Libra? Please give me an outcome card for Libra. Um, slash guidance message for Libra. What does Libra need to know, Spirit? Two cards. The Lovers and the Knight of Swords. You have a decision to make in love. Some of you are, it's with the Gemini. Um, we have the soulmate energy here. Um, some of you, you need to make a decision. It's a head or a heart decision. Your head is saying one thing, your heart is saying the other, but you do need to make a choice. After you make that decision, you need to move forward in the direction of your goals. What is it that you want? Go after it. Don't hesitate. Go for what you want. It's also possible that someone from your past is going to be coming back, a soulmate. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting Aquarius for some of you. And I also see unions taking place. Marital lovers can also indicate, you know, two lovers coming together in union. But they want you to make a decision. All right. If this involves your soulmate, it probably is going to be very difficult. It may even require you to, to leave your family or, or leave your home, which obviously you probably aren't going to want to do that. But it looks like you have some big choices, some big decisions to make. But you don't have all day. You don't have all the time in the world. This decision with the Nine of Swords it's asking you to be dispassionate, to think fast, to think on your feet, go after what you want after you make your decision. Okay. So I also see news coming in from a soulmate here for some of you. Um, you might be hearing from someone who's racing back from the past to be with you, rushing into your life I'm going to leave it right there. Libra, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to leave a comment, 
please do so. Like, share, and subscribe. And um, join me over on Instagram tomorrow night. I'm doing sexy tarot readings for singles at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and for couples at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you hop on there or follow me on IG, you can watch me do these readings for free for you. What else? I also have private readings open next week. I'm taking vacation um, on Thursday, so I don't believe I have any slots left, maybe just a few. So you can check if you want to book, but otherwise I'll be back in business next week. So take care. Bye.